This is Eli Ross' first feature film since 2007. What's up guys, hope you're all doing good. Got to see another early screening. This time it was for The Green Inferno, Eli Ross' newest film. And he hasn't made a film since Hostel Part 2 in 2007. He's done little things like that Thanksgiving trailer and some second unit stuff, I think, on Inglorious Bass. And produced, of course, a ton of stuff like that movie Aftershock. And that kind of leads me to this movie because this shares a lot of the same elements as the movie Aftershock, but don't let that scare you. The story is classic Eli Roth, a group of uh, young adults find themselves over their head. In this one, they're college activists. And you know, I like Eli Roth, he has fun with the characters. It's not super serious. Wind up going to Peru in the jungles to help some, you know, for some environmental reasons uh, to help clear cutting and stuff and to supposedly save these tribes. And of course, things go wrong and they wind up getting captured by some cannibals in the jungle. And I'm not an expert on the old cannibal films like Cannibal Holocaust and all that. But obviously this is, you know, Eli Ross' love letter to those films. You could tell because in the credits at the end, he had a list of like the influential cannibal movies in order chronologically, which I thought was hilarious. But like I said, this is classic Eli Roth. It's humorous. And then at the same time, it is completely gory. It takes a while to build up and you get to know our characters from the college as they travel down to Peru. There's a nice little subplot going on between a couple of the characters and what the group's real motivations are. But then that all goes away um, about half, I think about halfway through, um, they get captured by these cannibals. And, you know, up to that point, there was tension and a lot of fun and we're getting to know the characters. And when we get to the cannibal part, the blood gets <laughs> spilled. Let's put it that way. Greg Nicotero was one of the special effects guys on this. And there's a lot of practical effects. All the practical effects are awesome. There was times where they kind of used a little bit of CGI from, for some other effects. Not really blood and stuff, but I thought the CGI effects weren't that great. There were some ants. They used CGI, and that kind of took me out of it for a minute. But overall, the blood and the guts, it delivers. Uh, the idea of what they're going to do to the girls pays off you know, in good tension. And just the characters, you get, like I said, you get to know them before the chaos starts. and So you feel for them a little bit as they're getting it. And... They get it. <laughs> Eli Roth wasn't there, so the film festival director was speaking before the movie, and he was saying how he felt it was a big step forward in Eli Roth's filmmaking style, which I don't really agree with, maybe because it was so outdoors. You know, there's a lot of outdoor shots. That's the only thing that I thought was different, but uh, it felt like classic Eli Roth, which is a good thing to me because I like Cabin Fever, Hostel 1 and 2, and I felt this film is a great entry into those catalog of films. It's like, like I said, it's kind of like classic Eli Roth, he just can't let that humor go. I probably would have wanted something slightly more serious. I mean, not that the stuff they do in this movie isn't serious, but I don't know. I I almost felt like you were supposed to kind of laugh at the cannibals a little bit. And, you know, I don't know. It just There's always that element to Eli Roth films of humor. And uh, it, it's not super serious, which I think is fine. But I kind of would have liked to see him take it really super serious. And maybe that I would consider that a change in his film making stuff. But overall, I enjoyed the Green Inferno. You get your blood and guts. You got a pretty good story with a couple little twists. Um, you know, nothing groundbreaking. But I'm going to give it a four out of five. Definitely a must see. We don't get too many cannibal movies like this. Um, you know, real cannibals. Um, yeah, maybe the cannibals didn't behave exactly like a tribe would behave. I don't know how much technical research Eli Roth did into it. I was suspecting some of it might be kind of, uh, but, you know, it made for a good movie. So, yeah, four out of five. Check out The Green Inferno when it comes out at least once. Or rent it, you know, stream it, whatever. Um, if you like Blood and Guts, you got it. If you like Eli Ross' previous films, you're going to like it. When you see the film, let me know down below. And what's your favorite cannibal film? The only one I have here is Jungle Holocaust, I think. I don't have Cannibal Holocaust here. But, yeah, down below, tell me what your favorite cannibal film is.